are you? Welcome to Adult Education Ingredient. My name is Rosalia Wong. Guess what I'm going to bring to you today? Today the topic is called How to Help Adult Learners to Achieve the Greater Self Direction. <laughs> get started. Today the topic is um, it's very special and I'm feeling outside because I think today the weather is so beautiful and uh, this is a Jakarta season in Australia, Queensland. Everywhere you can see is purple in color. The famous street Jakarta you can see all over the street in our city and town and uh, such a beautiful season and such so I decided to come out just to feel outside to give you a different experience. Anyway, back to the topic today. So for awesome suggestions and uh, advices, put me through the link below as um, in the description section as I will bring you awesome insights into what you need for your profession and your organization. So today, the research and study was done by Sharon in 1983. So Sharon researched into the deeper part of uh, continuing adult continuing education, which is, uh, for example, how continuing educators I use, di use diagnostic and uh, negotiation process to help people to identify the specific uh, learning skills which they want to enhance. Um, so the question is how do we facilitate the transition uh, to greater self-direction in learning and development? So first, according to challenge that we need to take the emotional responsibility for oneself in the world, which is, this is basically what self-directed le uh, learning meant. And the second one, the process of self-direction uh, has elements that involve in a whole person dimension to self-managed development. So number three is normally the person has a characteristic of self-direction learning, for example, um, effective use of peer and uh, expert support, for example, the peer sense of uh, direction in, he, in his or her life, uh, for example, uh, decision making, and also um, he or she has a highly skillful in the learning process. So for adult um, continuing education, learn how to learn, watch the video, to the topic again. Um, today actually is a group of people will be there to give advice and motivate the learners uh, decision making uh, for achievement towards the self direction skill in learning. skill of self-direction learning and also the group of people they are very experienced and ability to for example conduct the successful relationship with the self-direction learner and they have the knowledge of the relationships that could work out for the best um, as well as mutually profitable and also they believe that the time together spent together should be reasonable enjoyable so actually uh, individual whether you are an um, educator or other professions or any uh, manager or business so I'll repeat what I said before. Uh, you go to the link uh, uh, to test fit for self-direction learning from the description below. And it is good fun. You t take a test and you can help in any profession. You are welcome to take a test. Okay. Of course, um, the participants, oh, regarding the test again, it, it actually is a correct problem. This is a rate to statue from zero, which is no knowledge or skill, to five, which is expert knowledge or skill. Three competencies need to be tested. Uh, number one is self-assessment competencies. Number two is the career research and planning competencies. And number three is competencies for the effective use of peer and expert support. 
So I'm briefly just going through the what are the elements in those uh, three competencies. For example, I'm going to read through. So sales uh, assessment competencies, like well, such as like element to assess the uh, to assess and continue uh, reassess my interests. Elements such as ability to assess my personal strengths. Elements such as ability to assess my learning or professional development skills. For the second one is the career research and planning competency. So I briefly just read through them. Uh, the elements such as including the ability to uh, develop deliberate strategies for career research that including reading, interview and trial experience. Uh, elements such as ability to use the literate search and interviewing techniques to identify possible career preferences and career areas I'm considering. So number three, I'm going to talk again briefly about the competencies for the effective use of peer and expert support. This bear with me there's a lot of birds around flying around making lots of noises and it's a it's a really beautiful day today. So the element what are the competencies for effective use of peer and expert include the element in, could be include like understanding of the functions that can be performed by peers and experts in support of my learning and developmental activities which also include like for example understanding the role of a learning program or development program contains like uh, expert mentor and the ability to use the uh, the help of a peer or expert playing that uh, role to support me and also for example in understanding of the role of a learning consultant and the ability to utilize the services of a peer or expert playing that role on my behalf and also something like for example understanding of the role of a referral source and ability to utilize the services of peer and as well as performing that role on my behalf. So these are the elements of those three competencies. And I suggest why not uh, have a great fun and just go have a test. And the link, uh, as I say, is in the description below. You can uh, click the link and test yourself for the fit for uh, self-direction learning or not. Okay, great fun. All right, go back to the topic again. So if you like to contain, uh, content, uh, remember to give a thumbs up and share it with a friend. And um, you know, uh, subscribe to my channel as well by hitting the button so you don't miss anything as I bring you new topic, new ingredient, and new uh, insights every Monday. Alright, actually, this topic is only for the learners who are desire to develop greater self direction so to in order to enhance and expand their learning skills. So channel also suggests that with the knowledge of the edge of learning, we must not ne neglect the process, which is termed as conscious process. Also, we man must not neglect the mental level, which is termed as the level of process within the process itself in the self-direction learning. So that's all for my topic today. It's a short one, isn't it? There's a beautiful um, scenery outside. I cannot uh, show you too, ma too much. It's just like everything is purple. Alright, now for awesome uh, suggestions and um, uh, advices, put me through the link below as I, I said before um, in the description section. So I will give you awesome insight into what you need for your profession and your organization. Finally, I thank you very much for tuning in today. Until next week and goodbye.